Today we are trying OK Normal, a game from a YouTuber that I follow, uh, that I've been following for about a year now, called 98 The Make. So you better read that warning. And so this guy, uh, what he usually does is that he takes a modern or relatively recent game and he remakes it but to look like something from, well, 98, hence his uh, nickname. And recently he has uh, done also like uh, with on, on Game Boy, like it's from 92 and usually he does it's in a PlayStation, the first PlayStation aesthetics, and so um, obviously yeah, I, I love this because it's uh, the first PlayStation uh, is uh, <clears throat> an important part of my my childhood uh, video game upbringing. I was more of a Nintendo 64 kind of guy, but I still played the the, the PS1 a lot, and. Uh, yeah, that's about it. If you want an idea of his work, go to his channel, 98dmake, you see this on the on the bottom, and uh, check uh, what if Bioshock was released in 1998. Uh, he, he remade uh, Bioshock, I think he used Blender, and uh, he gave it a, a PlayStation 1 style, and I think it looks amazing. And uh, yeah, recently he released a game. Recently he decided to uh, release a video game and uh, as soon as I saw the trailer I knew that I wanted to play it and so uh, on, on day one when it was released I, I bought it, especially considering it was extremely cheap. Uh, it was like three bucks I think, or maybe even two. Uh, anyway, this is OK Normal, a game by 98 Dmake. Apparently it's... Well, it's retro, obviously, but it's also kind of like weird and eerie, and and I don't know. It's it sounds really interesting. So um, that's right. I don't have a original PlayStation controller, so I'm gonna play on this Dual Shock Four. And uh, let's try it, shall we? Already looks awesome. I, I love this. Hey. Oh, so I'm, I've made a friend already. Remember? Actually, it's it's funny, but yeah, I almost forgot to take my meds. That's actually helpful. <laughs> So when you're done, just go to the end of the level, said the little uh, cloud thing. I think it's a cloud. It looks really like it was made in it from for the first PlayStation. I love this. Oh, I'm late. Hurry up. I'm trying to go to the left. Oh, okay. That's why. Yeah, that's how I turn. Tank controls. Not a fan, but okay. That's not really. Um, I missed a thing. Oh. Whoa. oh, almost fell. These controls are not very intuitive. I'm okay. Uh, that's... <laughs> oh, this is messing with my mind the way that you have to. Move is really 
counterintuitive. Okay. Because it's totally independent from the camera and uh, you use the right stick to turn and you use the, the left stick to go forward or, or backwards. It's so weird. Like, it, these controls don't make sense. But at least I get to eat pizzas and take some pills, so that's neat. It's kind of like my life, pizza and pills. This place is huge, that's what she said. Um, ah, these controls are so backwards. It's not as bad as, as Bennett Foddy, but it's gonna take some time to uh, get used to, especially since I don't really see the front and the back of my character. I mean, I gotta squint. Is it like a teleport? No, it's just a red thing. If only I could move the camera. Maybe I can. Oh, I can jump. Oh. Oh, I fell. Oh, you saw the little CD? Oh, that's such a great uh, touch. Uh, so, I can jump when you're done. The goal should appear somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, I can go in uh, first person mode. Maybe this will be easier to control. This, surely this will be easier to control. Yeah, it's much. Yeah! Okay, this changes everything. That squeaky noise in the background, that's surely that's Helios and Hermes that is our. that are fighting. This place is huge. Because that's not. That's not a squeaking that I'm familiar with, so it, ha it has to be the new boys. And Hades doesn't fight, so uh, it has to be Helios and Hermes. It's stopped already, that's good. So, it's not pizza, it's spaghetti. It's like uh, Vince McMahon uh, once said, spaghetti. I wonder what's down below, I don't... Hey! Aesthetics. I, sh I should uh, put my home light to uh, pink. Um, where's the pink? That's the pink. Yeah. So, um, how do you get into first person mode already? Like this. Yeah. It's it this makes it really easier to control. Uh, I was right, that's a cloud. Maybe a reference to Lucky 2. Again, what? Oh, I think I missed a sentence. I don't think it's really important though. Did I get enough of the. Oh, okay, so I have to. Okay. I'm just noticing the counter in the top left corner so I have to take all my spaghetti and all my what Vicodin Xanax Codeine you know it's probably codeine makes you feel good and nice but without going too far into the deep end lean or maybe that's Crystal Pepsi. Okay, it says. Uh, so I gotta find the exit now. Oh, I think the red thing, the teleporter, becomes blue when you have completed. I mean, when you have collected everything, yeah. So I think I was right. And now it's, it's green! Let's put my home light to green. This place is even bigger than the previous one. 
uh, I'm gonna take your word for it because I cannot see shit. Sure, you can do it though. Try not to get lost. Not to worry though, I'll be right here. Hmm. I don't want to say that it's getting a bit repetitive, but I think the game is like easing us into a nice, predictable little routine. So uh, when it will throw us a curveball, it will feel like really surprising. Oh, who called me pathetic? What the fuck was that? Was that you, Cloud Boy? I cannot see him. I cannot, I cannot look up. It's like in Doom. Or Wolfenstein 3D. You know what? I think that's uh, Zomp. I think that color is Zomp. I think we are Zomping right now. Disgusting. That's not really nice. Huh. So, uh, is that me? Oh yeah, that's me, I can, okay. Uh, well, it's blue now, so let's do blue. Oh, I cannot go into first person mode anymore. Okay, I'm gonna absolutely die. I'm just gonna go straight forward. That's, uh, <laughs> it's like one of these Max Payne dream sequences, exactly like that, actually. Really reminds me of Max Payne. It's, uh, the sequences when you're uh, high or in a coma or both. That's a nightmare. Red, huh? Red, please. This, <clears throat> this, uh, null. Nah, I cannot use the proper camera. This, normal. Is. Okay, well, it keeps you on your toes at least. Why is it so dark? Can I use that? Yeah. Nice. Why am I tired? I'm gonna switch from view to view so we see the nice decor, but I can move without risking to fall to my death. I hope I die. Don't we all, man? looks really great. It's very retro and low pixel, low polygon. It's a spinal fluid. I'm loving those aesthetics, the atmosphere. Stay here, so I'm gonna stay here, I guess. Oh, wait, these are stairs. I should probably. Too late, I think.
Oh, I gotta jump now. This is getting serious. Uh, can this drop slower, please? that nickname anymore. Don't know where you found it. But anyway. Those are really tricky jumps. Those are not easy jumps. I gotta be really... Uh, Right angle. So I'm gonna try. Yeah. Damn, I thought I had it. It's good that we have infinite lives, which wasn't really a thing in '98. Uh, or it was, but, you know, Half-Life had... Oh, it, that's a face. That is a face looking at us. I mean, Half-Life had infinite lives, technically, but... It was released in 98. Ocarina of Time... Um, didn't have a life system, either. I don't understand. Can I double jump? No. <sighs> okay, so really, you, you have to be really precise. That's, uh... Oh, it's gonna fuck with my mind. not make it. But evidently I could. Damn! It was a tiny bit stressful and now I cannot see where I'm going. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, that's a hand. So that's, uh, there's a big man and that's water actually that flows on the, it's quite a, kind of beautiful. Reminds me of a great PC game that I love called Cairo. A lot of similarities. Oh, that's a dude. There's a dude here. Or a chick. Oh, okay. Okay, we're playing like that now, huh? Okay, so maybe taking the syringe was a bad idea. Um, yep, getting some nice flashbacks over here. Oh, so I have a. Ah, oh, god damn it.
This is what adult life feels like. Exactly like that. You know, you don't know where you're going and you don't know how to go there, but damn you do have to move. Oh, and there's a friend now. I think I got molested. Um. By the school boy. School, school, not school. There's a lump thing. Will that protect me? Will that do anything? Is that just decor? Oh, maybe I, I, I get a, like, uh, make it run towards me. did a dumb thing. These look like kinda Aladdin lamps. Take that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw that. You saw that. That head. That was uh, taxes. That's what paying taxes feels like. It's red now. Oh. There was a thing that happened. game bears its name. Whoa! Fucking hell! There was a s skull thing. I don't think it's friendly. Ugh. But yeah, this game bears its name very well. Um, what do I do now? Because, uh, yeah. I don't think they're here to be buddies. Could I... Nah. Okay, it's fine actually, apparently. There's a thing outside that I can't really see it.
Cloud dude, you are really unhelpful. I, I cannot say that you were a really valuable companion in this journey. I mean, I appreciate the companionship and the fact that I'm not alone, but... It kinda seems that you know even less than myself what we're doing and what is going on. And yet you seem to imply the opposite, which is not very nice. Hey, those are the Mario 64 stairs, huh? <laughs> Why is everything like this? That's life, dude. Wants to apologize. Let's go. I don't know, I like it here. It feels familiar. We need to get out. Why? I'm not the kind who pulls out before completion. Let me go to the end first. And when I'm satisfied, I'll get out. Yeah, I think you know absolutely nothing. that I can't look up. Oh. Not very nice. Maybe there are keys behind the pillars now. Huh. My movement is slowing down. It's not me who's doing that. Just push. Those are not doors, just blocks. No, I cannot see anything. Maybe I can push the blocks so they fall. Yep. And now there's a new path that is open. Okay. going on here. Come on, let me take my time.
It's quite fast, huh? <sighs> Strangely peaceful. Six still quite a long way to go. Oh no, there's another one here. Weird. And there's a uh, Tori. There's something I don't even under it now. Hey, don't tell me to give up. I ain't a, I ain't a quitter. Never give up. Oh, I see a key shining. Can I just fall into the nothingness? It will happen eventually. Don't worry. It will happen. Falling into the nothingness will happen soon enough. Just let me get my keys first. There's no hurry. The end will come anyway. feels like it's huge um, I think that there's probably more than six keys in it hey vagina door I mean gate Seriously, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna call this Cunt Gate. And that's the end, and it's red. So, uh, evidently I was wrong. Which means I'm gonna actually gonna have to sift through Power the world. I get around. I get around. A vagina gate. Can I do something with these cubes? Nah, no, they're just there. Just decor. A lot of this feels very familiar, strangely.
Maybe I should just, you know, kill myself, drop into the nothingness, so I will restart at the beginning of the level, and I can take a more intelligent path, because I kinda done this not really in a smart way. Is there a button to, like, run? Go faster? Yeah. Wouldn't exactly call this run since we're gliding. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I see a key! Going fast kind of removes a bit from the peaceful, relaxing atmosphere of the game, but I've been recording for what, 35 minutes now? Huh. It's fine. There's no, there's no rush. There's no hurry. I just, huh. to be honest, I don't think I will find the sixth key. Maybe this is intentional. Is this the beginning of the level? Yeah, I recognize the six columns. You lose it all In the end It doesn't even matter My trust In you Pushed as far as I can go For all this There's only one thing you should know Put my trust in you Pushed as far as I can go For all this There's only one thing you should know Tried so hard and got so far In the end it doesn't even matter a really fitting song for this game and I think it was released um, no, maybe not in 98 hmm. I wonder when hybrid theory was released I think it was in the year 2000 could be wrong though 99 maybe
I will find a key. I will keep myself. I will find a way. Kinda having the feeling that I'm gonna get trapped into the game like in Jumanji. That yeah, something fucky will happen. Is this the beginning of the level again? With the six columns? Yeah, I, I had the feeling that I was running in circles. Once again, kinda like in real life. This game is a metaphor for life. Perfect metaphor. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Asses to ashes, butts to dust. Come on, tell me there's a the key here. Oh no, I can jump. Oh, there's a face. Faces. Very vapor wave. Isn't that the Buddha face? Cannot really tell. Not a lot of pixels. Things are more implied than shown. Just like in good erotica novels. I mean, it's not a sine qua non condition. I've read erotica novels that were very graphic with lots of details and they were really good also. I think I went pretty much everywhere so far. Good. What did I miss? No, oh, I don't remember this. Hey! Key sauce! Nice. I was not led on there. There in indeed uh, were six. Oh, not this way though. 
six keys and I have them all now. I can go to the ending uh, of the level which was under the high bridge which was right there around the corner. My sense of direction is horrible but yeah, recognize the high bridge and then there has to be the vagina gate. Yep. Here's the Here's the cunt. I wonder if it's uh, still long. The store page said that um, the game was about one hour long. Kind of starting to want to take a break now but I mean if I'm close to the end might as well finish the game in one sitting it can be a nice experience too am I drifting or is the floor moving it's hard to tell It's a syringe. Syringe with an eye on it. But it's just decor apparently. And I have zero things out of zero. So I'm free to move around as I please. There's a tight corridor, you bet that's where I want to go. Hey, I doubt that dude is friendly. I'm gonna try to go around, can I? Yes. Exactly the type of game when you have dialogue options. Hey. Oh, is it out of my reach? Oh, that's fucking nice. Okay, so there's another spiky dude. Urchin boy, I'm gonna call him. Uh, okay. Decoy heart. Urchin boys. And that wallpaper, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Forbidden vinyl. Not a field day as in criticism. I think you would love the atmosphere and the aesthetics. If you don't watch Ross's Game Dungeon, you should. It's the best goddamn video game critic videos. Like, I love John Tron. I love the angry video game nerd. They're both very good. But Ross Scott is just uh, a notch above. He, he has transcended video game criticism and Ross Game Dungeon is... Oh god, I'm putting in circles again. Anyway, if you like 
videos about games. <sighs> Spiky boy. Ross Scott is the guy who made Freeman's mind. Amazing machine. Yeah. Oh, that's the Twin Towers. See that shit? We're gonna crash into the World Trade Center. Again. Another game that would tremendously benefit from the addition of a map. <laughs> just kidding. This is just right. I mean, a map would be nice, I guess. If it was optional, you know. Like, oh, there's a thing on the floor. It's someone in the fetal position. Apparently. Uh, given by the... Given the head size, it's just a fetus. Spike boy. He kind of looks like Majora's Mask. Yeah, he really looks like Majora's Mask, actually. Um, I don't want to get spiked, though. Not Buffy. Or Rarity. Or a glass of punch. Spiked mojito though. Kinda works. Uh, maybe I should take a look at the way the things are moving. Maybe I should go with the flow. Like the, 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 there has to be an indication of where to go. And oh where am I? Oh, I mean the So uh, I'm gonna see if I can touch the spiky boy. Well, I can, <laughs> but I die. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break now. Uh, how do I take a break, by the way? Yeah, like this. Well, uh, there will be another episode, obviously, because I really want to see the end. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.